Hello, my name is Vamsi Sisla. Today, I will cover overview of Chef Development Kit, some of its benefits, followed by installation instructions on how to set up Chef DK on an Ubuntu virtual machine, followed by a summary of what we have covered in this video. So what is Chef Development Kit? For starters, it's an open source package created by Chef Community. It comes with all the development tools that you need for using Chef. It is also a great way to build and test your recipes and cookbooks locally. Here's a high level overview of key components in a Chef implementation. On the left side, you have a Chef workstation and on the right side, you have physical and virtual Chef nodes. In the center, you have the Chef server which is the nerve center of Chef ecosystem. Using a, a tool called Knife, you deliver cookbooks and recipes from the Chef workstation to the Chef server that ultimately gets delivered and ran, executed on the Chef nodes on the right side. So when you are setting up a Chef development kit, you are in effect creating a Chef workstation. Out of the box, Chef DK comes with various capabilities. Some of them are, there is a Chef command line, there's also Chef client, Chef apply, bookshelf, and knife. Using Chef command line, you are able to generate cookbooks, recipes, and all the other things that you can do with Chef. Chef client is a way for you to test some of your cookbooks and recipes locally in local mode. Even Chef Apply can be used for testing your recipes locally. Bookshelf is a dependency manager for your cookbooks and recipes. And Knife is a very important tool that you use to deliver your cookbooks and recipes and roles to the Chef server. Not only that, Chef DK comes with various testing tools such as Food Critic, Kitchen, Chef Spec, Inspec, Recipes, and Cookbook. Food Critic is a very nifty tool for you to check common problems with your cookbooks such as syntax, mistakes, style, etc. Another very important tool is Kitchen, which automatically tests your cookbooks across various platforms and it supports all the leading cloud platforms such as Amazon EC2, DigitalOcean, Rackspace, and so forth. ChefSpec is a tool that simulates Chef Client Run as if it's running on the actual node. This is one of the fastest ways to test your resources and cookbooks and recipes. And finally, Inspec is an open source runtime framework used to specify compliance, security, and policy requirements for testing any node in your infrastructure. Think of it as, as compliance as a code. So let me walk you through some of the, the details before we start the installation steps. The package installer we are using is an omnibus installer that comes with Ruby libraries and Ruby gems. This installer supports all the leading operating systems such as Debian, Red Hat, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and Windows. One caution is you are supposed to be it in a root user to be able to do this installation. And as I said before, I'm using an Ubuntu 14.04 LTS operating system, which has two cores and 3.5 GB of RAM. I've also made sure to open SSH port 22 and I have set up a user ID password to access my virtual machine. So what are the steps? So first step is to log into your virtual machine using SSH. After that, you update all your Ubuntu packages by running a sudo apt-get update command, followed by Using a browser, you go to downloads.chef.io slash chefdk URL 
to identify the right operating system version and also copy the link. Then come back to the virtual terminal and type wget and that copied link to download that package onto your virtual machine directly. And once you download it, using a Ubuntu package manager, dpkg, you install the package. After the installation is successful, you should, you should see a uh, congratulations, thank you for installing Chef Development Kit message. That should tell you that your installation is successful. After that, you can try Chef Verify command to verify if all the tools are installed properly. You can also check the versions of some of the leading tools that you'd be using, such as Chef, Chef Client, and so forth. So let's go ahead and start the installation process. As you can see, I've already logged into my uh, virtual machine here. And I will do an apt get update to make sure all the packages are up to date. While that's loading, I will go to the browser. This is the browser location and I'm installing an Ubuntu mission on a 14.04 and here's the URL I need to copy. Control C. I go back to my terminal. Here. I use command wget to download the, the package. This will take a few seconds. I will pause the video. So the installation should take a few seconds. I'll pause the video after I start the installation. I'm passing option I stands for install. I, before I do that, I just want to make and capture the uh, exact name of the file that we downloaded using wget. And I'm using sudo dpkg hyphen i and uh, distribution name. So this will take a few seconds or a few minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back once it unpacks and installs everything. Installation is successful. What is a version of Chef? I should get the version number of Chef Development Kit along with a few other details. It's giving me version number for books, which is bookshelf. It's also giving me version number for kitchen. It has given me version number for Chef Client. This concludes the installation process for Chef. So let's go back to our uh, deck and uh, cover the summary. So in this video, we covered uh, some of the basics about Chef Development Kit. Uh, we talked about various testing tools it comes with and also talked about leading operating systems that it supports. And we have successfully installed Chef Development Kit on a Ubuntu virtual machine. And once you have com completed this process, you can communicate with Chef Server and Chef Nodes, which will be covered in la later modules. Thank you.